All right, welcome back to another episode of Regular Zone Playthrough in Nightfall. Um, we are in the Pogon Passage. We finished last mission siding with Margaret the... Not really siding with Margaret the Sly, but just choosing her quest line. Uh, could have chosen the Ranger, Margaret, or the Necromancer, Master of Whispers. I agree with most people in the chat who or in the comments that said... Don't choose Ranger, choose Master of Whispers. Um, I totally agree. Master of Whispers is better in almost every every way, being a necromancer. Ranger is one of the worst classes as far as like effectiveness and versatility. But she does have some good things going for her. Like Rangers have some good condition spamming. She's got three condition spamming. Poison, burning, bleeding. As well as some interrupts with the distracting s shot. Um, I could probably get rid of Crossfire. But actually, I think I'll keep it on here. It's a nice one. Unblockable. It's an unblockable shot. So basically, that combined with Apply Poison makes 100% chance of poisoning or... Yeah, poisoning. Uh, anyway, we're, we're, we're stuck with Margaret because we chose her. And uh, we need to do this mission, which allows us to rescue Cormier, our honorable Sunspear leader. I'm running a different build. I'm going to run an interrupt support build where I'm not necessarily interrupting too much, but I'm going to be slowing down all of the enemies by 50% with shared burden. I'm going to be using Fragility as my as my main damaging ability because it synergizes with some of my other teammates. And then I'm using this spell Frustration, which I've never used before. Uh, it basically makes them take damage every time they're interrupted. If, an, if a skill is interrupted, they take double damage. So if we combine this with something like Clumsiness, which is pretty easy to successfully uh, land because it's... There's a four second uh, activation time along with Signet of Clumsiness, which is basically the same idea. And some of my other teammates that have interrupt skills, Margaret and Aiden, should be getting some decent damage numbers for that. I'm pretty excited to try this out. So let's go for it. This is Pogon, Pogon Passage. Let's see how we do. This is a pretty unique mission. This mission, um, we're going undercover as Kernan soldiers. So it's not just like a run in, fight everyone, turn off your brain. There's a little bit of like talking and stuff we got to do. I need to get her a better, I need to get her a better bow. I found this vampiric bowstring. I don't want to waste it on this, on this crummy bow, but yeah. I'm going to be on the lookout for a better bow for her for sure. So I talk to this guy and I get the bonus. And he tells us a password, 2187. Which I think I have to memorize it, as he says. So we're sneaking in here. It's a pretty big fortress. We actually, we had to come here already. And this was actually the first mission that took us to the mainland. From the consulate docks, we have already, we've already been here. But this time we're coming in the back way. So all of this should look pretty familiar. Um, so to do the bonus, I just need to complete all the optional objectives, which should be popping up somewhere. Here's one. Hey, give me some help over here. More prisoners as you saw me seem to be like rats. I don't have time to deal with this riffraff. You're heading towards the prison. Take them with you and toss them in a deep dark cell. Alright. Sorry guys. You gotta come with me. I wonder if I get the chance to rescue them. So that's the first one. It looks like the second one is up here demon spawn it's loose optional the demon is out of control you can either help the guards or stand aside and let them fight on there let's just help them 
Okay. Wow, we killed it. I mean, you killed it. You better get out of here before Varesh finds out. She won't be happy about this. Well, it is a demon. Um, I guess I go this way? Um, yeah, let's go. Let's just go straight in. Oh, we have a mini map here. So, I think Cormier is in the prison. Let's go ahead and explore some of these areas. This is where Varesh summoned the demons in the first place. Pretty creepy. Let's see, where do we go? Yeah, I kind of remember this because if I think about it from this direction, we came through here. We're just going backwards. So this is the port. Anything interesting over here? Hmm. I think this is where this is where we have to escape, so we're not gonna go there yet. Yeah, Nightfall has some weird missions. They really tried to get creative with with what you have to do here. Kind of wishing I had chosen Master of, of Whispers. Actually, his mission's a little, a little more action packed. This one's a little bit boring. Okay, here's another objective: guard Linko. What do you want? My feet are killing me. We've pulled eight, eight straight night shifts. Would you mind taking over shift? No problem. Take over gate duty for some guards. It already marked it out for us. Do we need to stay here? I don't think I even need... I think I already completed it. Just talking to him. I guess we'll get a notice. So then we go up here to the vaults. I mean, as long as I don't attack anyone, I think I'm safe. I'm free to just kind of explore around here. We talked to Vault Master Elijah, or Aijah. General Bale sent me 20 for a diadem of Lady Glaive. You better get it quick before you send. It must be through that ambush he's setting up. Here's the diadem. Make sure it doesn't fall into enemy hands. Okay. Did we complete it? Escort Margaret to the treasure vault to retrieve the diadem. Okay, so that's a primary objective. Now we just have to take the spear the Sun Spear prisoners to the prison. To do the last optional quest. And then we have to save Cormier. I'm guessing it's gonna increase in difficulty dramatically once we get to the prison. 2187 that was the num those are the numbers right we're fully authorized we have the password it's 2187 <laughs> you know even if you didn't pay attention like this one just seems way more confident right very good we have to be careful those Astani are planning something they want these precious commander back but it's too late. Her hours are numbered. All right. So far, this is like a brain dead mission. Just running and talking. Very cool level design, though. Look at that. There's Cormier. Your time is almost up, Cormier. The execution is on 
His executioner's on his way here. Take care of you and your friend. Looks like we're just in time. Let's move in before it's too late. Who's her friend? Do we go in, like, guns blazing? Also, I need to escort the Sun Spirit. I was supposed to uh, escort the Sun Spirit prisoners to the prison, which I guess I'm doing. But I feel like if I start battling, I'm going to lose this optional objective. I don't know. Oh, I, it, it marked it off, so I guess I completed it. Let's try it. Let's look at this frustration combo. Well. It's not very difficult. Let's use frustration. Signet of clumsiness. I want to see that frustration double damage. Let's see. Let's go. Cormier, we're here to free you. Sister, you've come to rescue me. Sister? Shahai, of course. You think I would leave my sister to the Cornans? Cormier. Give me a moment. Night has fallen. At least for me. Uh -huh. What happened? Our hosts were less than gracious. Varish's demons blinded her. They have a taste for eyes. I can manage. You lead. I shall follow. Let's ditch these outfits. Now that we've sprung the prisoners, this place is going to be crawling with soldiers. Alright. Looks like we gotta fight our way out. So I guess, I guess, yeah, now is when the mission really starts. Dang, 18 height squares. Escape from Gandara with Cormier and Shahai. Shahai's a monk, that's good. Oh, we're timed here, dang. I was hoping to find a boss. But I haven't seen any bosses yet. Let's get out of here. We have boats waiting by the dock. We just need to get to them. I need to think about this combo. It seems like by the time I cast Accumulated Pain, the enemies are already dead. So I might go Shared Burden, Fragility. Then do my Frustration, Clumsiness. Clumsiness combo. Finally accumulated pain. Look how slow he's going. Oh yeah. It's a fun build. This shared burden, I always liked it from, from the moment I captured it. It's really good. Oh, there's a big, there's a big group running by. Oh, they're coming right at us. All right, let's take out the priest first. Shared burden is nearby foe, so it should work on all these guys. Shared Burden was a great choice here. Problem is, by the time I get to Frustration, I'm running out of energy. But pretty easy so far, especially with Elias. Minion Master is really strong. Easy. 
easy. We even kept all of our prisoners alive. I guess I just exit the way I went. Oh, here's a boss. Lieutenant Nolly. Let's see what they what this person has. We got plenty of time. Twelve minutes. Is there a priest? Yeah, there's the priest. Let's see, this is a elementalist or a mesmer boss. Awesome. That's exactly what we wanted. Alright, Cormier is taking some damage. This priest will not die. There we go. The priests with that zealous benediction have some really good staying power. I don't know what, who on their team was doing so much damage. I guess the scribe. Enchanter's conundrum. Target foe casts enchantments 107% slower. If target foe is not under the effects of enchantment when this hex is applied, that foe and all adjacent foes take 16 damage. It's a domination, so I guess it'll it'll be better. It'll be better if I put some domination. I guess we're going to run an Enchanter's Conundrum build next. This is actually going to be pretty strong against Dervish and Elementalist enemies. That might be exciting to try out. Every time... Yeah, that's interesting. You want to cast it on enemies that do not have an enchantment on them. And then the idea is you... And the idea is that it just delays their ability to put enchantments on, I guess. Is this a paragon? Yeah. Should be pretty easy. Because actually, since we have a lot of conditions, he's going to be putting a lot of burning on himself. He uses that Kautri Signet elite skill. So he just like, yeah, sacrificed himself. We'll just put it that way. Easy. So got nine minutes left and we just got to get right over there. Oh, there it is. I timed the Signet of Clumsiness perfectly. 106 damage. Okay, let's just aggro all of them. They're just melee enemies, so... Be fine. It's a really fun build. It's very anti-attacking uh, enemies. And these two skills, the clumsiness skills, are pretty easy to to get off the, in the interrupt. I mean, I don't have a good track record for it, but... Yeah, it works. Pr it's it's pretty easy to get off because of the four second delay on clumsiness, and then this one you can just you can just wait until they swing their sword, and then you can time it that way. Just totally, totally nuked. That attack 50% slower, I think that's one of the only skills that I know of that reduces attack speed. Are there any other skills that reduce attack speed? I mean, that's a crazy defensive skill.
reducing casting speed, reducing attacking speed, just immediately, it essentially halves, halves their damage. Captain Nebo. He's, a, he's got Master of Magic, I think. Because he's using Fireball, he's using Earthquake, Media, or Aftershock, Media. Alright, that's it. Six and a half minutes to spare, and we completed Hogan Passage. Pretty easy mission. And I think we did the bonus as well. you back to Istan. Istan? No. You need to go north, to Vavi. There's no way to get past the fortress of Jahai. There is another way. There is a passage at the back of the waterworks of Mankalon. You told her about that? So I took a risk. The passage leads to an old smuggler's cave. The cave will lead to Vavi. You need a healer's attention. I can get Cormir to safety. And I can take you to the passage, but we'll have to be quick about it. Very quick about it. What kind of noise was that? It sounded like wolves. Oh, it was this demon. Okay. That's a pretty... I don't know. Not what a... Is your <laughs> problem, hound? Oh, it is a hound. After them. Good, good time, boy. What are you waiting for? You misunderstand, little mortal. You are not my master. You are charged to help me hunt these sunspears. You will do as I say. I answer to my lord Avatar. I answer to all mortal perish. I do not answer to you. Are we clear? I am Varish's general. Whoa. You should respect Varish does not need generals anymore. She needs us. Do not make her choose. We are one at best until all your sun spears are slain. And then? Then we will renegotiate. I know where these sun spears are going. Follow me. Jeez. Imagine. Imagine being on the side of that demon like that. All right, Master's Reward. Probably the easiest mission so far that we've faced. Maybe it's because of our extremely effective team build. <laughs> but yeah, that was a pretty cool, pretty cool build using um, whatever I was using. Shared Burden. Very nice. Next episode, I'm going to be using the... Oops. I'm be using the the skill we just captured, uh, our our enchanter's conundrum. Should be fun. So if we get it up to let me let me switch my helmet really quick. If we get up to 15 domination, it does a hundred damage to that foe and all adjacent foes. As long as I cast it on someone who's not under the effects of enchantment, which should be pretty easy. Especially if I bring if I bring some like enchantment removal, like shatter enchantment. Like if I do something like this. And even how and even, you know, even if I use drain enchantment as well. If I do something like that, just to make sure they have no enchantments. I could even Oh no no, this one. There's another enchantment removal. Signet of Disenchant. But I lose all my energy, so I don't want to do that. But something like this. Especially if it's like that. Do 200 damage right off the bat. To make sure... If I if I use it on someone who has an enchantment. Anyway, you get the idea. I'm looking forward to that. If you have any build suggestions for using Enchanter's Conundrum. Leave me a comment down below. Kind of a short video today. 
Uh, but that's okay. Hope you enjoyed it. That was Togon Passage. And we will be... I think... I think... This is... This Modoc Crevice is the start... I think we immediately go into a new mission here. Yeah, I think so. So next episode, we're going to be going into Modoc Crevice. I believe. Let's just double check. Yeah, this is a... Yeah, this is a mission for sure. Um, this one is pretty tough, I think. I remember this mission in hard mode being very hard. <laughs> so we'll try we'll try and do it next time. Anyway, uh, we'll stop the mission here. Thank you all for your support and your comments. Uh, likes, subscribe, all of that stuff. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.